What's going on everyone? My name is Evan Jevnikar and I'm the Daily Dino Guy. Have you ever wondered if you could beat a dinosaur in a fight? It's the one question we all want to know. That's why I ask my followers whether they can beat certain dinosaurs in a fight or not. Today we're going to be looking at seven dinosaurs. So make sure you let me know in the comments whether or not you think you could beat these dinosaurs. So this is all based on a survey that I saw a while ago where people were asked whether or not they could beat a list of real animals in a fight or not. And the results were pretty interesting, especially considering how confident some people thought they were. Now, a lot of the animals on this list would 100% beat you in a fight. Pretty much anything from a large dog or below could beat a relatively strong and healthy human. And if we're being honest, even a goose could mess somebody up. But I guess some people are pretty confident. So I put together my own list of dinosaurs based on this survey. Now, my list is not an apples to apples comparison. Dinosaurs are totally different from modern animals, so I kinda had to take some liberties with this list. These dinosaurs may not have been as strong in the exact same way as these modern animals. However, in general, they would have been just as deadly, just in different ways. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first animal on this list was a rat, and the dinosaur that I thought that would be closest to that would have been Archaeopteryx, one of the first birds. Archaeopteryx is one of the smallest dinosaurs to have ever been discovered. It measured roughly a foot and a half or half a meter in length and had a wingspan of two feet or 0.7 meters. It also would have weighed a little bit over two pounds or one kilogram. Even though it had sharp teeth and claws, it wouldn't have been very ferocious in a fight. It's estimated to have a bite force of about two to three newtons, which is not that strong at all. 60% of people thought they could beat an Archaeopteryx in a fight, which is a little lower than the amount of people who thought they could beat a rat in a fight. We don't know exactly what Archaeopteryx ate, but we know it was one of the smallest predators in Germany in the late Jurassic. It would have lived along the coast of what used to be this ancient archipelago island. The only thing it would have been able to hunt would have been small lizards, baby dinosaurs, and baby early birds. Moving on, we have Compsognathus, which would have been similar in strength to a house cat. This dinosaur was about 4 feet or 1.25 meters long and weighed about 7 pounds or 3.5 kilograms. 75% of people think they could beat this dinosaur in a fight which is about the same amount of people who thought they could beat a house cat in a fight. And much like a house cat, Compsognathus would definitely leave some scrapes and cuts. But just one of these wouldn't be enough to take down a strong, healthy human. Both the teeth and claws of Compsognathus were less than an inch or a few centimeters long. Because of its small and weak skull, it could probably only generate a bite force of about 15 newtons, which would hurt, but you definitely live. Its biggest strength probably came from its speed. Research on the relatives of Compsognathus showed that they were probably quick pursuit predators. This dinosaur in particular probably ran about 21 to 23 miles per hour or 34 to 37 kilometers per hour. So it may not have been able to land a strong blow, but it could definitely land a blow before you could. But Compsognathus would have been more interested in smaller prey anyways. It actually lived alongside Archaeopteryx in coastal Germany, so they probably competed for the same small prey items. Next, we have a dinosaur that would have been similar in strength to a goose. The best match would have been the goose-like dinosaur, Hulskaraptor. 66% of people think they could beat this dinosaur in a fight. Less than 65% of Americans think they could beat a goose in a fight, and only 45% of Brits think they could beat a goose. Even though it would have been more adapted for an aquatic lifestyle and probably ate fish or small animals in Mongolia, it was still a relative of dromaeosaurs like Velociraptor and Deinonychus. Like its relatives, it had a curved foot claw that would have been perfect for holding on to its prey. And its long legs helped it reach speeds up to 14 to 15 miles per hour or 23 to 25 kilometers per hour. But Halskoraptor was one of the smallest dromaeosaurs and its skull was more tapered, just like a goose. This tapered skull meant that it wouldn't have been able to deliver a powerful bite like other raptors. It could put up a decent fight and maybe scare away some people, but in the end, it wouldn't stack up against a human. Our next dinosaur is my pick for what I thought would be about as strong as a medium-sized dog. I figured one dinosaur that would have been close to this would have been Sidibes. Only 35% of people think they could beat this dinosaur in a fight, which is much less than the amount of people who think they could beat a medium-sized dog in a fight. Sidibes was about 7 feet long or about 2 meters long, and it probably weighed about 71 pounds or 32 kilograms. At first glance, there really isn't anything intimidating about this dinosaur. It was small, long-legged, small-armed, didn't have any teeth, and didn't have any large claws. In reality, it would have been more inclined to run away than put up any type of fight. But 
Studies on the skulls of oviraptorsaurs, like Sidibes, showed that their jaws were ideal for crushing. While the diet of oviraptorsaurs is highly debated, one thing isn't. These dinosaurs had jaws that could deliver bite forces higher than any other dinosaur of the same size. Based on similarly sized oviraptorsaurs, Sidibes is estimated to deliver a bite force of up to 300 newtons. That's stronger than the bite of most dog breeds. So even though it looked harmless, these dinosaurs were surprisingly dangerous. Moving on, we have a dinosaur that would be similar in strength to an eagle, which I think would be a velociraptor. Roughly 39% of people think they could beat a velociraptor in a fight. If you've seen my previous video on how to survive a velociraptor attack, then you'll know that it is possible to beat one in a fight. If you haven't seen it, go give it a watch. However, just because it's physically possible doesn't mean it would be a cakewalk by any means. At this point, we have crossed the potential of animals that could potentially beat a human in a fight. Now, the things that make a velociraptor deadly are not necessarily the things that you would think of. It didn't really have a strong bite force, only about 314 newtons. Most people think that the curved claw of a velociraptor was used for slashing, almost like a scythe. But the claw of velociraptor and other dromaeosaurs were actually too thick to be good at slashing. Instead, they would have functioned more like meat hooks that would have sunk into their prey. These claws would have kept them latched on and would have prevented their prey from escaping while they bite down on them. Combine that with the fact that they can reach speeds up to 34 miles per hour or 55 kilometers per hour, and you have a predator that is optimized for closing the distance on its prey. Now before we get to the next dinosaurs, I want to take a moment to thank the amazing people that make these videos possible, my Daily Dino Direct members. Thank you so much for your support and passion for paleontology. Because of you, this channel is able to put out videos that are as understandable and as accessible as possible. If you want to help support this channel and take your dinosaur knowledge to the next level, then you should consider joining Daily Dino Direct. You'll get early access to these YouTube videos and exclusive masterclass lectures from me and other leading paleontologists in the field. So go to my website and sign up. Next up, we have Coelophysis, which is my pick for a dinosaur that would be similar in strength to a large dog. 45% of people think they could beat this dinosaur in a fight, which is much more than the amount of people that think they could beat a large dog in a fight. Coelophysis may not seem like an imposing dinosaur, but I personally would not want to mess with one. Standing 10 feet or 3 meters long and weighing about 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, this was one of the oldest theropod dinosaurs that we know of. It's estimated to have a bite force of about 289 newtons, which is less than some of the previous dinosaurs, but it's still enough to cause some serious damage. These dinosaurs are estimated to run up to 27 to 29 miles per hour or 43 to 47 kilometers per hour. So you aren't gonna be able to outrun this dinosaur. But what makes these dinosaurs especially dangerous is their extreme survivability. Coelophysis lived in the late Triassic when dinosaurs were actually not at the top of the food chain. Coelophysis had to compete with many other early dinosaurs in North America, and it had to avoid tangling with even bigger prehistoric non-dinosaurs like Postosuchus. On top of that, the hothouse climate of this time meant that these dinosaurs lived through brutally hot dry seasons and violent monsoon wet seasons. Paleontologists have even found skeletons of coelophysis that have developed fluctuating asymmetry. This is when one side of the skeleton is not symmetrical to the other side and grows in a warped way. This only happens when animals live in extremely stressful environments. This is even more evidence that this species of dinosaurs could survive the worst possible conditions. It may not have packed a hard punch, but you wouldn't have been able to outlast a Coelophysis in a fight. And finally, we have a dinosaur that I think would be similar in strength to a chimpanzee, which would be Deinonychus. Only about 14% of people think they could beat a Deinonychus in a fight, which is about on par for how many people think they could beat a chimpanzee. But honestly, if you think you could beat a chimpanzee in a fight, you are sorely mistaken. And the same goes for a Deinonychus. This dinosaur would reach over 10 feet or 3 meters in length. It's also estimated to weigh up to 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. Like the other dinosaurs on this list, Deinonychus would have been a fast pursuit predator. It's estimated that Deinonychus could run up to 37 miles per hour or 61 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest dinosaurs on this list. That's roughly the same speed as a wolf. It also would have been the strongest dinosaur on this list with a bite force of up to 706 newtons. Now you'll probably notice that all the raptors on this list don't have that strong of bite forces. While most dinosaurs didn't have powerful jaw muscles, they utilized their serrated 
and blade-like teeth to cut meat at the microscopic level. Similar to modern-day monitor lizards, they would bite down and pull their head backs to leave massive, lacerating cuts. So rather than biting and crushing, Deinonychus was optimized for ripping and tearing. And this strategy helped it bring down prey like Tenontosaurus, which was 10 times bigger than it. So it's pretty clear, even the strongest humans wouldn't have been able to handle a Deinonychus in a fight. Even though many dinosaurs hunted and fought in ways that are a little different than modern animals, all of these show that even smaller dinosaurs could be dangerous. But what about other dinosaurs? How many people thought they could beat a dinosaur bigger than Deinonychus? Well, you'll have to tune in next time to find out. If you made it this far into the video, then you probably love dinosaurs as much as I do. If that's true, then you should subscribe to my newsletter. Every month, I gather the cutting edge research on dinosaurs and I send it to you absolutely free. Go to my website and sign up. If you enjoyed this survey on dinosaur survivability, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. And don't forget to check out Daily Dino Guy on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Threads, and X for even more fascinating dinosaur facts. Until next time, keep exploring the ancient paths with me, Daily Dino Guy.